You know, on several occasions, we've come to the beautiful White House Hotel in Biloxi, visited uh, the hotel, the restaurant, Cora's, and we want to come in today and introduce you to Alex, who is the new Director of Operations here. How are you, sir? Doing well, Jim. Good, Good to, to be on the show. Well, thank you very much. Now, as I mentioned, we've, we've come in, as you can see, this great historical picture back here of the White House Hotel. And there have been so many things that have been going on for the last few years here and little opportunities for people that, that can come, you know, make this a destination um, type of thing. Well, one of the big things about the hotel is we feel like we are a premier destination. We want people to feel that way at all times when they're coming on the property. We want to be the best at venue uh, from a hotel standpoint, from a venue standpoint for weddings, holidays, any type of meetings you want to have. Uh, mm -hmm. We want to be the top venue for all of those aspects. And you have a, this beautiful location. I mean, you have weddings out on the front lawn. You have them on the balcony upstairs. You have uh, you know, so many opportunities for people to come in and enjoy things here in so many different ways. Well, it's a historical site. I mean, as you drive past on Highway 90, you see nothing but these white pillars, these beautiful oak trees. I mean, as you come by through here, you should think, this is where I want to be at all times. And any point that you're coming to Biloxi, you should want to be at the White House Hotel. And even if you live in Biloxi, live on the Gulf Coast, I mean, there are so many people that come here, you know, in the evening time and enjoy a great dinner at Cora's or a nice glass of wine at the bar, which, uh, you know, you've got a great selection there. Absolutely. And I'd love to show you some of the new things that we're going to be doing there soon. Now, Alex, when people come here to the White House, what kind of experience can they expect? So our number one goal is here is to make sure that you have a phenomenal, the epitome of what a luxury experience should be. From a customer service standpoint to wine, cocktails, food, um, we are looking to offer a wonderful experience for you and a new experience every time you come here. Mm -hmm. We have this great wine set up here that we can offer one ounce, three ounce, five ounce pours of wine. If you want a glass of it, enjoy it. If you want to try something different, we'll be uh, interchanging the wines pretty consistently. We want to make sure that you come here and have a new, wonderful experience that you can, every time you come. Now, when they come and have a, um, ask for a glass of wine, and especially if they're coming to have dinner, which we're going to check out some great uh, menu items here in just a few moments, but um, getting the proper wine to go with that meal is very important. Absolutely. So one thing that we're going to strive to do here, myself as a sommelier in the past, um, I love the idea of pairing wine with food. Um, it creates a new experience for you. Uh, the food on itself speaks, but then when you add something else to it, uh, specifically wine, it just brings it to a whole new level. Uh, we strive to teach our staff uh, the perfect pairing for your wines, um, find what works for your palate, and pretty much give you the perfect dining experience. I found out a long time ago that uh, chocolate desserts Red wines are awesome with a chocolate dessert. You know, they can go wonderfully. Uh, if you find something that's got the right amount of fruit to it, mm -hmm. um, you can just kind of match perfectly there. You get this right amount of sweetness there with almost like a bitter dark chocolate in the wine. I mean, that's pretty much everything you're looking for, right? It really is, it really is. And of course you have a lot of other great, you know, uh, beverage offers here. Uh, instead of just the wines. Uh, we have a large cocktail menu. Uh, that's another item that we'll be changing consistently. We'll change with the seasons. We'll change with the experience. As the dine and the fare changes, we'll change the cocktail menu to make sure that you're getting a pairing, whether it be with wine, whether it be with cocktails, and once again, that experience that we we're talking about. All right, then we'll get in talking about experiences. If you've never experienced the food here at Cora's, you are in for a treat. Now, Aaron Colzer is the executive chef at Cora's Restaurant here in the White House Hotel. I've been here at several opportunities and, and uh, had great meals here. How you doing, Aaron? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Um, tell us, uh, first off, a little bit about yourself. I grew up in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, so I'm still a Southern boy at the end of the day. And that was something that they really wanted to bring me in on, mm -hmm. um, especially being able to bring a Southern flair in around here. But mm -hmm. I was able to travel all the way across the country, went to Portland, Oregon, went to Austin, Texas, and just kept learning about food. I mean, that's my one thing. I, I know if you went to Austin, Texas, you brought something back, some good ideas. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> especially using that smoker we've got back there. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Well, <clears throat> talk about the menu items here. I mean, this, this is a, an opportunity for people to enjoy a great variety of foods. Absolutely. Um, what our cuisine is that basically me and Alex have gone for is a new southern cuisine. So we're taking old classic southern dishes and actually upscaling it a little bit more to the point where it 
has a little bit more of a contemporary feel as well. Mm -hmm. So we're able to actually use correct flavors and bring back a little bit of a memory that you end up having it. Tell us about, you got three meals set up here. Tell us about what they have here. So we're gonna have a pan seared halibut that we actually bring in whole. It's a beautiful fish. We clean it all the way through uh, underneath a, or on top of a wild mushroom risotto with a beurre blanc sauce. We've also got our okra appetizer that just screams southern at the end of the day with a really nice grilled corn relish and also a really good radicchio salad with green goddess, manchego cheese, and bacon lardons. Now that's the good thing about uh, coming here to Cora's is the different variety of items that you can have. If nobody's ever eaten halibut, I mean, I don't know, I, I call that the Texas flounder because they're huge. Oh, absolutely. They're I agree huge. 100% on that. I mean, it's a beautiful white flaky fish, nice steak. It's a good steak like meat at the end right. of the day for within the seafood world. Not a strong taste. Not super fishy. Yeah, I know a lot of people are afraid that uh, you know they get some uh, fish that they're not familiar with It's going to have a strong taste and halibut's not that way. Absolutely. I agree 100%. Halibut is very meaty at the end of the day. It's mm -hmm. a good substantial portion that will actually help out. Okay. And then, uh, of course, any of the other dishes that you have, and uh, you have such a great variety of items on the menu that people can come and enjoy. Yes, sir. We've got everything from prime steaks that we actually clean in house to beautiful uh, racks of lamb as well. That's actually one of our top sellers at the end of the day. Well, as Alex said, it is definitely an experience to come here oh, it uh, to the White is. House and especially to have dinner at Cora's. Yes, sir. I agree 100% with that. That's what we're going for is to make a memory and also to jog back a memory at, from your past. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay, chef, hook me up a little bit here. This delicious sauce. Oh, wow. That looks great. And again, this is the halibut. And tell us the other two. So we have the pan-seared halibut. The radicchio salad with green goddess dressing and bacon lardons. Mm -hmm. Chef's wonderful version of fried okra with um, that he's pretty much elevated to a new level with this corn relish. Um, he does a wonderful job. He really does. You have an opportunity to try his fare Monday through Friday, or actually seven days a week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're open nightly, seven days a week. We're also open for brunch on Saturday and Sundays. Mm -hmm. You can find all this information. You can find all of his feature items on Facebook and Instagram at whitehousebiloxi.com. Excuse me for eating while you're talking here. I know it's very rude of me, but I had to taste this. This was great. The halibut, as he said, is like, it's like eating a fish steak. I mean, it's, it's, it's light, delicious. It's really wonderful. Mm. Now again, you're looking for a wonderful experience in so many different uh, ways. Staying here at the hotel, coming by in the afternoon for a drink at the bar, the different wine um, that they have to offer, and plus come in and uh, do this. And they have the special booths here. And if you want to have a private little party as well, you can do that. Come check it out at the White House, Highway 90, Biloxi.